Hey everybody, good to see you. Now, I am not in a dress, but that's okay. I wasn't actually expecting to be creating a tutorial right now. I have had a day of filming, which had ended, but then I discovered something new and amazing and I just had to tell you about it. So I am not in a dress. I'm in clashing patterns of brown and neutrals. Not like me. Hmm. Anyway, um, today's tutorial is really cool and I've only just discovered it. I was doing an, a DM call live on Instagram and suddenly I realized you could not only add media but multiple people to the call. Yes! Very, very cool. All right, let's get into that and I'll show you all how it works. It's Okay, so I'm going to show you something really cool on your Instagram messaging, but I can't show you on this phone because it won't let me screen record while I'm on a call with another person. Now, I'm actually on a call with Charlotte right now, and she's not actually sitting at her desk, but you can see there's my ring light in the background and she may appear at some point. But this gives you a whole bunch of different options. Now, there is a lot of new stuff going on here. So at the bottom of the screen, just here you can see there's an add button and so you can add up to four people on one call. Now this is new and it is very, very cool, but also difficult to manage when you've got four people having a conversation online together at the same time. Oh, look, there she is. She's back. <laughs> there's Cherilata. <laughs> so we're just doing a run through of the new options. So if you look down here, there's an, a media button, so you can add media. So if I was to tap that, it gives you various different options. So it can bring up posts that you've liked with the heart button at the bottom. You can bring up your saved posts, or it can bring up suggested posts for you to share with the conversation. Got some me media of a suggested post here. Let's just tag something in. And as you can see, it, see, it's bringing up a picture of a whale with an octopus on its back. Amazing. But you can also see that there, there I am still and there's Charlotta. So you can share media this way. So it could be that I'm sharing a post that I've already liked or saved or something that's new in suggested. So this is also a really cool feature. So the next thing that we want to do is maybe go back and have a look at effects. So Hang on, I'm just gonna remove this up here. Do you want me to press buttons on the effects as well? If you want to. Okay. Let's, uh, there's an effect. And Charolata's got some very cool effects going on. That's really like mesmerizing Charolata. <laughs> I love that. Cool. <laughs> Try something else for me. There we go. The lemon. Oh, I love the lemon. Loving yeah. the lemon. <laughs> Your lemon's so much more refined than my lemon. We also have the regular cross at the top of the page if you wanted to end the call. There's. Look at this. Look, Abba. Oh, wow. It's taking your face off. That's a good one. So up here, we know that we can turn the camera around to be pointing in the other direction. There's a microphone here so that we can cancel the audio and turn it back on, or we can turn the camera off and back on. And then there is a different kind of layout so that you can see it comes up over the conversation that we were previously having. And then just tap it to bring it back. So these are the amazing new features in the Instagram DM service and beautifully hosted by my wonderful Charlotta. So thank you so much for your assisting me in today's tutorial. All right, so that's it for me today. I hope you give it a go. I hope you find it useful and um, have some fun with those filters. Right, Charlotta? <laughs> All right, is that good or is that good? I love that. 
I wonder if the algorithm rewards us in the same way for doing private messaging. I think it does actually. I think it does count in your brownie points towards the algorithm. So definitely give it a try and see how it gets, how it works for you. Anyway, as I said, I am not dressed in a dress. I am dressed in my civvies, in my normal clothing. Um, kind of clashing, but I like that. Even though it's a little bit neutral in color for me, apparently it uh, works with my skin tone better, but you know, go for the clash to mix it up. Um, so yes, this is a TK Maxx jumper and these are, oh, I can't remember where these trousers are from. I think, no, they're Urban Outfitters. So there you go. Very exciting outfit of the day. Let me know what you think. Woo, catch you next week.